Hey guys, today we're going to get to the bottom of something. And I think a lot of us have strong opinions on this, but I wonder how many of us have actually tried it. I haven't. But today I'm going to be doing a blind taste test on a um, Golden Jubilee tomato. Three different tomatoes. One that I picked when it was perfectly ripe. One I picked before it was ripe, when it still was about half green and still had some ripening to do. And then the third one I picked when it was ripe, but put it in the refrigerator for a few days. And now I've gotten it out and I've gotten it to room temperature. So everything is the same across the board here for the tasting. And I've got the labels here. Emily has cut these, labeled them. I'm going to turn the labels over and we're going to do a taste testing and see if I can tell the difference between them. So this should be good. Stick around. Okay, so comment down below and don't cheat. Do it right now. Comment down below if you think they're going to taste the same or which one might stand out as noticeably having a different taste because of whichever way um, I did it. And again, we have a ripe pick, pick perfectly ripe, one that was picked about half ripe, half green, one that was picked ripe and put in the refrigerator for three, day, three days, about three or four days, and then brought out got back to room temperature and it's on one of these plates. So the labels are here. I'm going to turn them over without seeing them. And you're going to know what they are. And I am not. Hopefully you can read that. Okay. So I got to put some salt on my tomatoes. I'm sorry. There we go. I'd like some basil and some balsamic, but you know what? We need to keep it as close to the real taste as possible. So I'm gonna start here. Again, I don't know which one this is. They're all the Golden Jubilee uh, tomato, which I really like. Okay, tastes good. The skin is a little thick. I'm not sure that that has to do with the ripening process though. Second one. Maybe I need water to like cleanse my palate. Hold on, I'm gonna close my eyes, I won't look. Okay. All right, now the second one. Okay, that's better than this one. Skin's about the same. Try the third one now. This is interesting. I'm actually going to be really glad to know the answer. Even though it might vary from person to person, I'll know the answer for me and you guys could do this taste test and let me know how it came out for you. All right, number three. Wow, they all three do taste different. Okay, I need to try them one more time. So of all three, there's definitely one that stands out, and that would be this one in the middle. Now you're looking at the label and you could be laughing, you could be saying, oh yeah, that's the one I thought. So I'm gonna put this one here as, as the first place winner. Let me try these again. Okay. I need one more try. So I think I'm going to say second place, third place, picked before ripe. <laughs> okay. At least I didn't pick the refrigerated one unless I picked that for second place. So I said this was second place, right? Picked ripe. And then this would be the refrigerated one. So. I gotta say, out of the three, I mean, they pretty much all were very similar. I would say the pro probably why I did not pick this one for first place is because it had a stronger tomato flavor. And you guys know I don't like a heavy tomato flavor. That's why I like yellow tomatoes. So if you really like that tomato flavor, Picked Ripe is gonna be your best bet. 
This kind of doled it out a little bit, not much, still was great. And then your refrigerated one um, would be third, but not a distant third. I, I didn't really taste that much of a difference, uh, especially in these two. I would say these were both a milder tomato flavor, but still delicious in my book. Ultimately, altogether, I think no matter which way you eat a tomato in any of these three ways, you're going to be okay. They're going to be a hundred times better than a supermarket tomato. Let me know if you agree. Um, now, we only have a couple more Tomato Tuesdays left. Um, I can't believe how many I've been able to, to crank out over the last three months. There's a lot to do with growing tomatoes. Um, so next week, I believe we're going to be doing seed saving for tomatoes. So if you guys are looking to grow your own seeds that you grew this year, um, you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that because we're going to go over everything you need to know to save your seeds for growing next year. And then I don't know if it'll be the following week or the week after, depending on my, my friend who's going to show us how to preserve tomatoes with canning. Um, he's on vacation. I can't remember when he comes back. So either next week or the week after. Um, we'll do that. Now, this coming Friday, we're going to be unveiling all three winners of the Wise Orchard giveaway. So that'll be exciting. And if you watched that video, you're going to remember me saying that I was going to try to cover everything, but that I probably wouldn't. Well, my prophecy came true. I definitely didn't. Between all of you, cumulatively, there were about 12 questions that multiple people asked. So this FAQ Friday is strictly going to be devoted to drip and answering the questions that I didn't answer on the first one. So that's this Friday. So I will see you then, and you guys have a great rest of your week.